Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I am going to teach you VLOOKUP. And in the next video I will teach you HLOOKUP. You can find the link for HLOOKUP in the I button on the upper right corner. But in this video I will teach you VLOOKUP. So in VLOOKUP, V stand for vertical. VLOOKUP is used to find a specific information from a given data which is in vertical form or in other words in columns. And on the other hand, HLOOKUP is used when you have data in horizontal form. So let's start with VLOOKUP. As you can see we have preset of data which we will use in our explanation. You can see we have client name, their province, type of client and then sales amount. Let's say if you have a large amount of data and you cannot just scroll down and find further information you are looking for, then VLOOKUP is a useful tool which you should be using. So let me explain how to use it. Here we will write what we are looking for. Let's say we are looking for Sumit. Here we will write the formula to find something about Sumit. So in order to write a formula, you will use is equals to VLOOKUP and then you can use tab or you can start bracket and then as it is explaining lookup value so what you are looking for then you will select you are looking for semit and then you will write comma as per the formula and then table array so you have to select the table in which you have your all information so you will select this data by selecting all the cells in which you have information and then you can go up where you have formula then comma again as per the formula then a column index number so you have to write the index number of the column in which you have the information you are looking for let's say you are looking for the province of semit so you will write second as you can see this is one and this is two so you will write two and then comma again as per the formula so it is asking if you are looking for a approximate match or exact match so you are looking for semit or something similar to semit so you will obviously select exact match and then double click and then enter as it is showing northwest territories so you can confirm here by looking at uh, semit so where we have semit so here we go semit and as you can see Northwest territories right let's say if you have selected province by mistake then you can just double click here and then all the formula will come up and then you can change the column index number here you're looking for the amount of sale so you will remove this 2 and instead of 2 you will write 4 as you can see we have information in fourth column first second third and fourth so you have written 4 and then enter 21,000 you can confirm it Semit Northwest Territories type C and 21,000 now you have already written the formula here let's say now you are looking for someone else you like client name here it will show you the results for that client Let's say now you, we are looking for a gill. You will write gill and enter. 28,000. And you can find here the gill. Gill. 28,000. That's working pretty well, right? Let's say now you want multiple customers at the same time. So the simple way could be to drag it right but it will not work well why because when you drag the formula as you can see here it will drag selected sales in table array as well so as you can see this is perfect then click here and then double click here you can see it is selecting wrong area we don't need F to be selected so how can we fix it so now you can do a very easy thing by selecting the main say main formula and then 
this is the table array which we want to fix so we will just press F4 here so we can do it by two ways either by pressing F4 from your keyboard as you can see the dollar sign so dollar signs means it's locked so column and the row both are locked and you have to repeat it here as well so F4 and you can see the dollar sign so it means all the data is locked and you can press enter and then now click here and then from bottom you can drag and you can write here chance and then Patel and you can confirm Jones is 70,000 then we already saw Gil which is 28,000 and then we have Patel Patel 46,000 and one more important thing you can do it manually as well you just have to put dollar sign before row and your columns like this and it will work well i hope the concept of vlookup is clear and for hlookup you can find the link in the upper right corner via an i button and for excel tutorials you can check our playlist if you like this video please hit like if you have any questions you can write me down and don't forget to subscribe